Welcome back Legionnaires and we're here with another historical battle for you today using the DEI mod for Rome 2 Total War. This is the Battle of Mantinea as you probably read in the, uh, in the title and this took part, uh, place on uh, the 4th of July, surprisingly, 362 BC. I felt like just the 4th of July needed to be thrown in there, obviously for you American viewers it's kind of like, uh, obviously a major date for you but uh, yeah. Obviously, it was a major day in the Peloponnesian War, which this took part in as well. This is a decisive Spartan victory in history, and uh, against Athens, obviously, which are the two major powers in the Peloponnesian War. And uh, hopefully, we're going to see a either European history or, well, obviously something different. That's the only two variables we can have. But uh, hopefully, we'll see victory as I am playing as Sparta, this Spartan army here, and uh, we are getting about to get harassed by some cavalry here. Possibly. No, it looks like maybe not. I mean, there's a good uh, jabby throw there. that's killed about four men. I mean, uh, cavalry, this is a lot more beef than it is in, say, in uh, the main mod or the main vanilla game. I mean, they're taking casualties now uh, from a lot of jabbies. We're throwing a, a lot of our jabbies from these light melee infantry here, getting a lot of kills. But here come the other two units of cav. I mean, these units, if you haven't already seen like them in past uh, videos, like the Spartans look awesome in this mod. They do look glorious. These sworded spot. These guys with swords. They look awesome. They have like javi capability as well. And here we go. Some light uh, infantry about to get hit by cavalry here. Gonna just see this light impact of charge. Oh, and they kind of blitz through the infantry, which I mean they're not that great. You can see they got cow hides for uh, armor and stuff. So that's never a good sign. Uh, if you're fighting fighting with them, uh, if you've got poor armor like that, that's not great. But I mean we took out one and got down to 78. I mean. There's another one that's 96, but I mean, they're pretty, still pretty healthy, all these cav units. And uh, we really could do with doing a lot more damage to them. We've routed a few of the uh, arch units here, ourselves. I mean, we're about to lose one of our own. But we've done quite well in routing uh, the Athenian archers. The other Athenian army seems uh, just, well, happy to sit back, apart from over here where he just seems to be flanking around and trying to make the battle even wider, which is not a bad tactic, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. He also brought a lot of swords, which is kind of interesting. I mean, the Peloponnesian War, historically a very hot, like, heavy war. Brought a lot of uh, swords instead. I'll have to see whether that pays off. I mean, Athens has all the cav. Sparta has no cav, uh, which is kind of historically true. Sparta would rely on possibly Athenian cav... Uh, not Athenian, allied cavalry, or, uh, or no cavalry, and then just heavy infantry. And here you go, you're going to have a charge from a general. He's coming in, he's going to come for these sword, uh, these sword Spartans. And they've got javis, like I already mentioned. Uh, whether they'll be able to use them, I don't know. They got like just charged pretty heavily there. But yeah, I mean these guys do look glorious, glorious units. And then hopefully uh, Spar's going to get off a jabby throw here. He's going to be able to take out these uh, hippias. I mean, there's a general unit. We'll probably want to take them out. But here we go, the lion's moving up for Athens on this side. He's got a lot of uh, medium phalanx infantry here. He's got lots of, uh, yeah, lots of just medium phalanx. And he's got heavy phalanx uh, pikes. Or heavy phalanx, he um, heavy pikemen, obviously. And then his general's very heavy. But he's relying on his cavalry, you can tell, to do most of the work while he uh, holds with just basically medium infantry and uh, some pikes against very heavy phalanx. Have to see what happens there. Could be interesting. Could be interesting indeed. And same on the other side, really. I mean, these are very heavy uh, swords, but I mean, I think these Spartans might overwhelm the swords. They are certainly a lot better. I mean, they're also Spartans. And here we go. The cavalry looks like it's going to come in for a charge here. Going to go for a rear charge on these pikes, possibly. No. The uh, hot plates just scared them off. It looks like this one might. But again, will the general know? He's going to go maybe for a general attack. Okay. I mean, this will be hard to kill. I mean, he's 300 men in a unit. It's pretty... Uh, a stern opponent, we'll put it like that. I mean, it's going to be pretty hard. But I mean, if you guys have been enjoying at the moment all the uh, content of DEI or Rome 2, or just generally everything, everything on the channel, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And you can see down here that we have some of uh, the Scariati swords now fighting off against the Hippias again. They barely killed any of these guys. They've killed like a whole two. A whole two men. Apart from this guy. This guy might be about to get killed. Yeah, we'll take another one if you're going to start stay around. And we've got some pikes now coming up for Athens. He's uh, got these lone, this lone pike unit here. 
I mean, the uh, Skiriasi really don't want to be engaging here. I think I didn't realize that this was a pike unit. And I was just like, oh yeah, just send them in. And uh, yeah, so they, I, I mean, they need to really get around and surround and do some damage. And yeah, it's the same over here. I realized at this point, and I'm like, oh god, we need to get around this pike unit. Not so just stand in front of it. And the carry over here is just uh, chasing down archers. So it's a bit of a shame. Uh, because they had a bit of ammo left. I could have really done with using that ammo and maybe softening up this uh, hot plate line that I'm about to face. Which I mean, there, this is all in phalanx. It's pretty nasty. You can see here, I mean, the Spartans on the other side, they're looking ready. Ready to come across. I mean, these guys, apparently, they don't look very armoured, uh, do the Spartans. I mean, it's like some of them, like, have literally just, like, cloth on. Some have actual proper armour. But then I, like, look at the other side and I'm like, these guys have proper armour and these are medium. How does that work? These are medium phalanx against very heavy. Though my men have no clothes on, but I guess that's, maybe that's the trick. you got to wear no clothes to be become heavy infantry. So I go form up into phalanx here. I'm going to just get here. It's going to be a classic phalanx on phalanx sort of fight. And that's that's how uh, jaw dropping this uh, battle is, or like historically this battle was, I guess. Lots of phalanx, but not even engaged properly, like not even really fighting. Probably a mistake on my part. I mean, they're fighting over here. But I imagine, uh, I mean, I don't think much is going to change yet, but I mean, we need, really need to get into combat a little bit more. They're kind of like attacking on a bit of a, like they're going into the left a little bit. They're probably not really engaged it properly. And you can see here now the cavalry's going to do some rear charges. And this is going to be painful. This is what I was like, made a mistake of doing. It's not bringing my own cavalry because this is what's going to happen. Oh dear, that's not so good. That is not good at all. We lost only six men there, but I mean... That's just the first charge. It's going to take down the armor, and then the next one will probably do a lot more. That one's, I mean, racking up a few more kills. I'll have to see there, but I then give the order for my swords on the, that were on the flank up on this hill to come around, and they're going to go after the general. I don't know whether they'll be able to take him out. He's a very, these are heavy against uh, very heavy. But it's sword versus spear, so I would have thought they've had a good chance. And they're Spartans. They don't flee from an enemy. And the pikes I've just, I've carefully left unattended. They're not going to fight anyone just yet. You can see the uh, Athenians now breaking rank and they're coming to fight the swords. The Spartans are trying to get, I mean they're flanking around, they should be getting a few kills here. They could really do with another unit coming in behind. I mean now my ally is getting involved in his fight, he's now fighting uh, some uh, Thorax sword, he's got some uh, hot plates here. And he's uh, got another unit. Oh, jeez, this uh, general unit here. They're charging to the back of the hot, hot plates. They're really racking up kills now, I imagine. Well, we'll have to see what happens there. What a mess. What a mess this battle is going to be. I mean, that's a solid line over there, like, fighting on this side. I can't say the same. It's kind of, like, becoming, like, isolated little fights everywhere. I mean, this the Athenian player keeps running away, and he's actually not helping his ally because he's now meaning that we can flank round, as we've done here with the swords. If he'd st stood his ground, he may have made it a bit easier for his ally. I mean, though, this Thorax sword here, though, is losing, or, like, our version of the Thorax sword is now uh, losing in combat. I mean, it's, I think it's going after the pikes. I think it kind of got a bit confused what it's supposed to be going after. My uh, hot plates still aren't really engaging properly. They're just kind of... I mean, I've got the pikes up here now. We've got pikes in here trying to, like, poke our way through. But, I mean, they're, again, not really doing much in the way of fighting. I mean, they're fighting over here. I mean, this is... I mean, they're combat even. I mean, they'd win in that, if that fight. I mean, look at this. What is this weird formation they're forming? I'm not really sure. I probably should have put them in Phalanx. They probably did them better out of Phalanx. I'm not sure. They kind of seem to be a bit buggy in Phalanx. Over here, I'm now defending the rear uh, with my general. And these ho uh, hot plates should be able to go th do their own fighting. But they're not. They're really not. They're uh, kind of bugging out. My swords over here are finally going to break these pikes. They've been fighting for ages. And they've been looking the wrong way for these thing fights. They've not even bothered to turn around and look the other way. They've been the bane of my fight. I was like, I just want to get these swords over here to come help help out. Because I could flank around and do a lot of damage with them. Do what they're doing with, to me, with, but with uh, infantry instead of cav. Because this cav is causing a lot of issues. Just going into the back here and it's just, well... Causing, yes, causing a lot of issues. Now he's going to have another cavalry charge here, maybe. 
I don't know. I mean, my swords are still fighting the general over here. Yeah, here we go. Another cavalry charge. Just in case it wasn't enough. Condemn these men even more. This mod is glorious. It just look so amazing and all the unit variations amazing. I mean, yeah, these uh, Spartans over here are looking so great. Spa looks like, I mean, Van's power is in favor of Spa currently, but I mean, they seem to be losing on most fronts. I mean, they're doing okay over here. Swords are uh, fighting off against some really very heavy phalanx infantry. Got some uh, like light spear infantry here fighting against some really elite well, elite swords. I'm not sure why they're really falling back. They probably would have won that fight. I mean, they're getting shot at a lot, yes. But archers aren't great in this mod. So, I mean, better just engage these guys and then just uh, see what happens. But it does look beautiful. I mean, the spawn shields look, oh, beautiful. The red and white especially. I mean, anyone with red and white or gold and red. Oh, they've got good shields. I hope they survive. Or come back on dead on your shield, one or the other. You can see now um, the Athenian general, instead of flanking around, is having to come all this way down here because he sees these swords. And he's going to have to compete with these swords. I mean, we've got a fresh sword. I mean, both of these units are pretty fresh. The rest of my Scuriati are broken. I mean, you can start to see that my pikes are starting to look, not look so good as well. Which is a real worry. They really need to get involved in the fight. They just seem to keep... I mean, they are prodding away at these units. And killing them so slowly. But uh, this is how slow a, a hoplite fight is, I guess, for you. You don't kill stuff quickly. It's just like a dead zone in the middle here that you just don't go for. Oh, this poor guy here, he's, just, he's been stabbed by a random spear. That's him done. And there goes another cavalry charge. That's not great. And yeah, I mean, this is just slowly, like, whittling away at the morale because they're just not happy that they're being surrounded. I mean, this unit's been surrounded by infantry over here. Like a medium spear infantry unit, and that's not great. I mean, this is an elite unit for me as well. This is one of my... Uh, my best top lights. And there's another one here. Literally the same unit. It's been surrounded as well on multiple fronts. Is uh, combat even though? Pikes are literally surrounding it. And it's still like, nah, that's fine. We'll take it on. My ally over here is having a bit more luck. He's starting to break some uh, units of the Athenians. Mainly just like their light spears. He's breaking some swords though here, which is key. And we can't break this unit, strangely enough. She's literally surrounding here with Scariati and, uh, well, archers. I mean, I guess that's probably the reason why. There's just such rubbish resistance from the Athe uh, from the uh, Spartans. But, I mean, look at that mess in there. It's just... The archers are piled in. They are just going to pile in and die. Yep, there they go. The Skiriati Peltesti. They're not even, like, archers. They're just javies. And here we go. A charge here. This is going to be onto another elite unit of... Uh, Spartans, and then at the last moment they just swerved away, and then they, oh, they've got him for this one instead. That's a just a normal Spartan hoplite unit. Yeah, these guys are—they uh, probably were going to win this fight, I think, against the uh, Thorax. I'm not sure. Maybe not looking at numbers, but I mean, their Spartans—they should be should do okay. But I mean, I think Spartans doing okay on this side. He's uh, clearing out a lot of the infantry. For Athens, he's just got like this main bulk here of uh, infantry left. I'd probably flank around with a general. Um, and just save them. I mean, these swords here could do the same as well. And then that's kind of it. That's all they need. A shame they don't have archers, uh, cavalry, sorry, uh, Spa to run down these archers. But balance power now is probably going to even. Spa, uh, Spa is losing a lot of troops, mainly from this Athenian cav over on this side. A lot of wavering here going on. Um, my general is, yes, yeah, still engaged, looking the wrong way. I mean, not looking the wrong way perp uh, by accident. He's purposely looking that way. So the cavalry charges in, it doesn't do any damage. Oh, but I move it at the last moment, and this is not a good idea. 
I think I move it because I'm going to go on an offensive. But yeah, then comes the cavalry. And I mean, they're running down. They're only getting like a couple of kills. Yeah, I think the idea is to try and get through this gap here. I should do some damage. I mean, we're surrounding here finally. We're actually going to break this unit of uh, Arch, of uh, Hoplite, Hoplite, sorry. But, I mean, they might break our normal Hoplites first. And there is some, those pikes are back. Those goddamn pikes just won't break. And there you go, look at this huge chain route along the entire front here by me. So I'm really leaving my ally kind of a bit high and dry here. He's got to do a lot of work. And he's slowly chipping away at these uh, very heavy phalanx infantry, but how much damage he's doing, I have no idea. And they're flanking with swords. This is what well, I mean. The morale for like DEI is just like buffed so high. I don't think you should be able to like. They should start to be feeling a bit concerned about being attacked in the back by like quite a fair few Spartans. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not so sure about that sort of morale. And here we go. We're gonna have some uh, Spartans going in to fight some archers as well. They will do their bit. I mean, like, look over here as well. This unit of thorax has been surrounded. I know it's surrounded by, like, trash, but it should be feeling a little bit concerned. I mean, we're going to have a cavalry charge here. So, I mean, the Spartans should be also concerned. The Scariati here is about to get charged pretty hard by cavalry. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Then they're going to go bouncing off into, uh, I think, another unit of like, pikes over here, which is... Oh, well, not pikes, uh, more Scuriati, actually. They're just focusing down the uh, really light melee stuff. And, yeah, this is all that's left. I mean, we've got a pretty beaten up uh, Athenian general over here. He needs to be careful with this general. He's pretty beaten up. The general now for the other Athenian army is now engaging um, some Scuriati, which is about to die. The swords are fine pikes here. Not a good trade. Now we've got the general over here. For Sparta engaged, my my general, he's doing his hardest, fighting his hardest. I've done, had a poor battle today. I uh, just could not, I don't know what it was, I just could not break through. I also didn't help with the cavalry, lack of cavalry. It was kind of a, that was a very uh, be beginner's mistake there. Or like a noob mistake. Should not have brought no cav. I know Sparta's not got great cav, but they should have brought something just for mobility. Look at that guy with his, like, tall, uh, tall feather. Like, I've got a taller feather than everyone here. He's flexing on everyone right now with his uh, feather. But, yeah, I mean, the general here exhausted. I mean, most of these units are fresh for... For Athens. Jeez. Why do you guys watch my uh, content? I'm just, I just yawn at you. Yawn and burp and whatever else. I've, like, been up hours and I still yawn. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> But yes, I mean, the Spartans are doing okay over here. They, they are actually going to break these units, I think. Especially since it's an elite, uh, like, Spartan unit. Oh, this guy's just, like, chopping and changing. Like, nah, it's spear now. Uh, quickly change the sword. But yeah, they're wavering this unit. And then they can turn around and actually come and finally break some of these other swords. And they're whittling down these, uh, like, heavy, very heavy phalanx. He really should fall back here. He's just got pikes just, like staring at him, just stabbing him. And he's just doing nothing. Such a bizarre thing to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, on this side, of, yeah, I mean, they've actually... I was about to say they've rallied, but no, I think that's the unit there that just broke. As this one's also going to die. And the Thorax Swords, or whatever they're called, they are basically Thorax Swords, are going to break uh, for, for Athens. They are basically spent at this point. They're really bloodied up. I mean, look at these guys. They are in a state, put it like that. And there you go, they, they will, they've gone. They'll probably get murdered as well as they try and run out of that. Yeah, that unit's already gone down to the 80s. That's probably going to get down to like 60 something before that uh, before that gets out of there. Jeez. Yes, well, even lower than that now. Wow. But yeah, you can basically see that I'm basically finished over here. Uh, I got annihilated, we'll put it like that. My uh, Hippias is now fighting off some... Uh, of the like heavy phalanx infantry. I'm actually losing this fight only because of these uh, spear infantry being here. So if I can break them, then I can just 1v1 the general, which is kind of what we agreed on the two uh, the two generals, kind of to agree, uh, to agree just to like fight each other off and see who can win this. We must win this battle. 
for our king. I'm pretty sure like the king was at the Battle of Mantinea for Spire's King Agius the second or whatever his name was. So I guess this is him or he could be in the other unit over there. Probably better he's in that unit than this one. It'd be a bit worrying if he was in this uh, in this unit here. I mean, his men might fight harder if he's here. But yeah, like the Peloponnesian War was like the downfall of Spar in the end. I mean, it was kind of the downfall of all the Greeks. They kind of just battered each other to a pulp. And uh, they just made themselves easy pickings for eventually when like the Romans arrived and all sorts. And they were like funded by the, by the Persians at uh, both sides at different points of the war. Just so the Persians can keep the war going on. Just to keep weakening the Greeks. It's insane. I mean, yeah, this is a, a hard-fought battle. And here we go. A little flank from some Scuriati that rejoined. I think I found them, like, all the way back there. And, uh, yeah, they rejoined. I've got some spears over here as well that are going to... Uh, come over and fight him. But there you go. It looks like Sparta has won that first fight on this side and is now facing off the other Athenian army. So it's coming down to very little. I mean, Sparta's like not got the balance power in his favor, no surprise. They still have Cav to Athens and all sorts of uh, nasty little units. And you can see the Cav still being used. It's a great effect to just run down the uh, Thorax swords of uh, Sparta. Paul Spartans is getting cut down right now. I mean, these are, uh, hot players are starting to lose, though. This is good, uh, like, looking good for the uh, general in the middle here. He's combat even. The Scariati is unluckily gone. I mean, these, uh, these spears might appear and just, like, help rile these guys. That'll be really good. I mean, on this flank... Looks like they're having a bit of a standoff now. The general is getting involved. He's fighting. He's taking on two uh, spear units. And he's probably going to win this fight. It's just such a huge unit. It's the 300. Literally 300 men in a unit. I mean, they're a chunky boy unit. And, uh, yeah, they're doing their work. I mean, yeah, literally these guys are literally in, like, tunics. They're not going to stop these heavily armored uh, Spartans. Look at this guy, he's just... He's huge compared to like this small dwarf of a man here. But yeah, I mean, there you go. A huge chain route here on this side for uh, Athens. Another unit breaking here. More breaking in the center here. But, I mean, Sparta's breaking just as much. I mean, you can see some wavering Scuriati here. It's not good. I mean, the general here is still holding out. My general. He's on 153 men. Still, like, having to fight it out here. These uh, hot plates are eventually going to go. You do imagine. And these uh, swords are also... I mean, these swords are actually winning their fight now against this. So, they might be able to come over and help the general here. And this general 1v1. And the pikes, this damn pike unit... It's going off to fight in the front line over there. I hate this pike unit. They just kept doing damage to stuff. So frustrating. But I mean, Sparta's got plenty of his own pikes. He needs to move these boys forward. Give the attack order. Get the long pointy boys into action. And there they go. And they're going to hold back those uh, hot pikes quite nicely, you imagine. Yeah, and those... Uh, Athenian hot plights. I mean, they're doing their best. These guys are like, like I said, they're medium uh, phalanx, uh, but they look really like well armored. They got cloaks, some of them. It seems like a very elite thing to have for a medium pike unit or medium phalanx unit. Over here, these units are. Uh, I mean, uh, the general should beat this unit. He is winning decisively now, uh, losing decisively. Yeah, and I mean, he's going to win this fight here as spa, and then he's got like three units to take on another. Well one here. I mean, the cavalry back here is still uh, having issues. I mean, there's a Spartan unit duking out over here. They're winning slightly are uh, the uh, 
well, the Athenians, they might need to send something in there. I mean, it probably doesn't help with the cavalry coming over and harassing constantly. And here we go. I've got my uh, whole place here, but there's a chain route going on here for uh, Athens. That's not great. Athens has got very little left. I'm about to charge into the rear somewhere with my uh, hot plates. My final contribution, really, because I think the rest of my army is basically dead. But yeah, these guys are uh, just holding them. Mind their own business. They're fighting some, uh, some hot plates and then some Spartans, and then in come these boys. Oh, God, I can't get camera. Sorry, I do apologize. I mean, yeah. So, I mean, that, there you go. Those guys are broken now. And just in time because that hot plate was about to break itself. And there you go. My general is finally broken. That is it. The uh, whoever, the uh, other Athenian player that was, like, fighting over there just wouldn't let me and, uh, like, the Athenian player here, like, have our duke out with the general. We're going to see who's going to win. I think, to be honest, I think my general might have uh, won it just on numbers. And just he's a bit more elite, I think. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to, I don't know. I don't know. Never know. We'll never know what would have happened. The cavalry intervened and killed them. I mean, and those hot plates there were constantly being harassed, and they finally routed and died. And I think it's because this Athenian army over here has lost his general at some point, and I'm not quite sure when he did, but he's lost it at some point. I can't. I don't. Don't know when he did it in like the battle, and I'm not sure when he did it in the replay. But he did. He lost his general at some point, and uh, yeah, these guys are getting absolutely murdered now. And the pikes here, just no mercy. For Sparta. For the freedom of Greece. I mean, Sparta kind of like, both sides were like saying that they were not wanting an empire. And then both were building empires. So they didn't want like a strong like power in Greece. And like, obviously Athens was building up a, uh, a big power base was like with his empire across like the Aegean as well. And Sparta was just making a load of satellite states and client states in like the Peloponnese. And basically making them uh, all loyal to Sparta. So, I mean, both sides were really just making empires. They just didn't admit to it, really. I mean, the Athenians did eventually call theirs the Athenian Empire, I'm pretty sure. So maybe they did. They just didn't want to be seen as, like, the Persians. But, yeah, you can look at this unit. This general unit battered up, but it looks... Looks still fresh. God, that's beautiful. Take a cheeky screenshot there while uh, we're watching the the end of this battle. I mean, yeah, I mean, there you go. Sparta's finally... I did mention the Spartan player that he's just charging into pikes here. And this is goddamn annoying pike unit that's been around for ages. I'm finally going to get my uh, chance to take it out. I'm charging it in the rear. And this time I'm not going to let it die. I'm not going to let it survive. And the general unit here is going into combat. He's going to come in and take out this uh, final unit. The general versus general. This general's already taken on one Spartan general. Can he take on a second one? Something tells me the numbers of this one, no. Um, and then here we go. We've got like a tiny little hot plate unit coming over here. And he's going to come and fight out. And he's going to uh, probably die. Because there's a lot of uh, Spartans left. And Barton's power, as you can see, has shifted way back in favor of Sparta. And Sparta is going to claim the day, probably, I think, here at Mantinea. I'm just going to fast forward ever so slightly, because we are getting to the end of the battle now. And there it goes in the cav charge. Another final cav charge. I'm surprised these Scariati have survived as long as they have, but I mean, they're finally going to get, they might get caught by these pikes here. And this tiny little one here. But yeah, this there's no real winner here. The Spartans and the Greeks, have, well, and the Spartans and the Athenians just killed each other. And Greece has just lost, like, thousands of good men, which could have been used to, like, ward off any Persian invasion. But yeah, I mean, they're just coming in. They're just going to finish these guys off. I'm surprised these, like, medium spears are still holding. Like, they are just trash once they get, like, in proper combat with uh, the Spartans. I mean, you can see here, they, they did lose a fair few... But I did lose a lot more. There's a lot more Spartan dead bodies over here than there is uh, Athenians. But they did lose a fair amount there. I did enough damage, and that's what mattered. In the end, I did enough damage to allow my ally to basically claim victory here. And, uh, yeah, this is how it's going to come down. It's going to just be some Spartans versus some Athenians. in this little choke point here. On oh, this choke point. This little jewel out here. 
this is what a, like a hot plate war was. Just like just stab each other with a spear and hope. Wait until someone dies. There's someone got dropping. A couple more dropping here. Someone needs to surround this general. Yes, yeah, so there's a massive rear guard now. They just don't want the cav to uh, charge in and do any damage to the general fighting. So they just got rear guard, and I mean that's not going to be good for the cavalry. There's pikes here as well. That's yeah, that's not good. And this pike infantry unit here is going to come in and try and sneak in. There we go. That cavalry is finally surrounded. Finally going to be got rid of. Oh dear, yeah, that's not good for the cav. That's what you call unhealthy. And there you go, a costly victory for Sparta. We'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. So uh, thank you to Aiden, G.O.D. and Coops for taking part. Um, yeah, me and Coops had a pretty, uh, well, Coops had a pretty decisive victory over me. I got the least amount of kills. Aiden getting the most kills out of anyone. And Geo getting the most for Athens in any army. But we'll have a look at my results first. I mean, got 260 kills with my general, which is not bad. My archers getting 221, which is actually very good for archers um, in DEI. Uh, my uh, normal hot plates did not do well. They just got like absolutely surrounded by cav and killed. My hot, my pikes again the same. Um, and one of my swords got 250, and one of my elite uh, like hot plates got 262. And my scary arty getting 108, which is not too bad. They weren't. They're pretty. They're pretty cheap. So. That's not bad. Aiden got 253 kills with his general, and he's fresh in comparison to mine. He only needed seven more kills to overtake mine. Um, his uh, Skiriati Peltasts getting 137. His uh, Hot Plates getting 259, and his Pikes getting 158. One of his Swords getting 422, and another getting 232. His Skiriati getting 336. It's insanely good for that unit. They definitely. Uh, Got more than that. He definitely got more than his money worth out of them. And then his most elite hot plates getting 235. Um, God with his uh, uh, Athenian army uh, got 168, uh, 161. Sorry, with his uh, general 313 with his uh, Hippias, and the t uh, 269 with the other. He got 400 kills with his uh, medium uh, hot plates here, and his uh, like elite ones only getting 133. Which shows like, I think these guys are fighting pikes in time time, which is just a bad idea um, and then he's uh, also got like with his thorax 330 uh, 310 sorry 310 kills with his uh, the best one with his pike uh, his sword sorry and then uh, we've got coops here his general getting 291 kills his cav getting 465 kills the uh, one getting only 86 kills but yeah one getting 465 um, and then his uh, his like uh, Athenian hot plates didn't do great. I mean, one got 193, but the others didn't do too great. And his, uh, uh, his medium spears didn't do that great either. And his uh, pikes in getting 123, which actually isn't bad. It's better than mine. And his uh, like elite uh, spear unit here getting 100 and, uh, 88. Sorry, not doing well either. Um, but if you guys enjoyed and you want to see more DEI action, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the Battle of Manton here. History did repeat itself. Spa was victorious. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.